Hi, this is Heather from Sister Stand Strong. Welcome back to the Bootstrap Business Blueprint. Now, today I'm going to be diving a bit deeper in those three elements that I introduced you to yesterday in the customer attraction process. So today we're going to be talking about lead flow. So I want you to think volume and think quality. Being in the right place at the right time is really, really important, but not as important as getting in front of the right type of people. And so many business owners make the mistake of falling into that vanity marketing trap. They say things like, oh, well, you know, I've got 1 million followers on Instagram. And um, and then I ask them the question, well, are you making any money? And they say, well, no, not really. People, people aren't buying from me. So that's an, a typical example of vanity marketing where you have you know, a lot of followers, a lot of likes, but you're not making any sales. So being in front of your ideal audience in a smaller quantity is far better most of the time than being in front of thousands of people who have no intention from buying from you. So how do you find them? Well, the first step is to identify who your ideal target customers actually are. Just getting clear on that, I mean really clear, is going to bring you closer to identifying where to find these people. And once you know who these people are, you can use perhaps one of the best targeting tools in the world, which is Facebook, to find them. Now, this doesn't always need to be advertising. In fact, I would recommend that actually you do this organically and use organic strategies first, leveraging all this information and, and then step into the advertising uh, part of this. But you know, one of the ways that you can do this organically, for instance, is Facebook groups where you can target customers and they can actually, you can invite them into a, a specific place and, you know, they hang out there and you, they get to know you, to, to like you, to trust you, and then you can make offers to them. So let's give you something to do here in terms of action. So I want you to ask the question of how many people are you actually reaching at the moment every day via your marketing? So again, we go back to that original question that I said yesterday about like those hundred, the hundred people, if you picked a hundred people randomly on the street and you sort of, yeah, I want you to really clarify just how many people are you reaching every single day with your marketing? Because that's going to give you some clue of the number at the top of that funnel. Then using the formula I shared with you yesterday, calculate roughly how many people fall into the interested category. So you've got that 47% of interested people. And of course, you've got the 3% there that make up that 50%. So you can actually halve the people that you're actually getting your stuff in front of every day, halve that number, because that's going to give you a realistic interested category. And then from that number, calculate how many of those people would be ready to buy right now. That's that 3%. This is how many potential buyers you're actually reaching right now. So you can see when you, when you look at that formula, you can see how you've got to up that top end in terms of lead flow. By increasing the number of people who see you at the top end, as well as the quality of your audience, you're going, going to then see an increase in the number of potential hot buyers at the bottom of this equation, the bottom of this funnel. So it is a numbers game. This is data, not drama. So I don't want you to get caught up in the weeds, but this is a very big wake up call for so many people in understanding why they're not generating the sales that they truly want. If you want to increase your sales at the bottom of that funnel, you've got to increase the number at the top. So I hope that's been insightful for you and I will be back tomorrow.